Hello. Well, here I am in this absolutely beautiful basement room. But you won't believe what this place looked like just a few months ago. So Martin, um, what, we, what we need to do when we get to a cellar like this, you need to line the walls with a specific membrane and the type I'm using is a cavity drain membrane which effectively you use specialist fixings that you drill through and fix to the walls. Right, um, so this goes on the wall. This goes on the walls. The walls here. The walls there and then at the base of that we would generally use a, uh, a, a, a perimeter drainage membrane that effectively any water coming through the wall hits the back of the membrane, drips down and into this channel system. And then uh, gets and carried then, uh, away. takes it to the pumping station. Right. To be then removed from the property. Now on the floor, we use a much thicker 20 millimetre membrane. That's right. rather a large piece, this. <laughs> you hold that. That lays directly on the floor. As okay. Effectively, it allows a massive amount of water to run underneath the so floor. So you don't mind that there's water running underneath it? Not at all. No, the whole idea. The, the literature of water underneath this membrane is allowable completely. Right. Now obviously, if water is allowed to build up, it could break and will break the seams over a period of time. So you need to get it to the pumping station. Right, so it's, 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 it doesn't matter that it's there, but the idea is to get it away. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what about actually decorating on top of this then? What do you put on top of this and what do you put on top of the wall? Well, a number of ways really. Uh, talking about the wall, this particular one is a, is a, is a lath membrane. So you can actually dot and dab straight onto it. Plasterboard. Or you can skim. Yes, plasterboard, or you can skim straight to it. Right. Now, um, there are other ones, which you can see here, which is a plain membrane with no, no mesh on it. And then you can use battens. And, and these fixings, they're very clever. You can actually screw straight into them. Oh. So you can either use the timber battens, or you can use uh, the metal frame system, and actually create a plasterboard system, which you can then insulate. Now I notice well. these have got a big rubber thing on the back of them. Mm. So these go through here, but they create a seal against there. Exactly. It's a it's a butyl seal. It squashes into the dimple. So in lots of ways you're almost like you're creating a kind of fish tank within the cellar. Yes. Yes. It's a it's a a sealed unit. Okay. An envelope of waterproofing membrane, if you like. Right. 
So this is the specialist bit. This is the specialist bit. You know, the, the plugs need to be put in at a certain angle to get the right, the right fixing. And, and, and the tapes need to be right. Do you have an example of where this has been put down already? Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, it's going to take a look. Let's go have a look. So stuff on the walls and on the floor in this area. Yes, absolutely. Um, we talked earlier about the, the sealants. Yes. The sealants on the plugs. Literally, the angle of the drill is, is critical. It's drilled into the walls and then hammered through and the plug goes through and you can see um, the butyl seal squashing into the cavity drain membrane dimples. Right. At the base of the wall, you've got the perimeter drainage channel behind here and then the floor membrane and you can see that there sealed there. And we use specific um, tape and uh, you know, very, very sticky tape to join the membranes and maybe with an overlap. Again, creating this watertight, uh, like shell. Yes, yes. Now, I noticed that the, the pipe work and, and things, uh, the surfaces, they're actually on this side, on the waterproof side of the membrane. Is that the way it works? It is. The best to keep them on this side. It avoids any corrosion issues. We can then service them if you need to. The same when the electrics for the first fix come along, we drop those down vertically within, between the membrane and the plasterboard. Right. So the uh, same with radiator pipes, in this case with water and gas. So, okay, so we've got the water where we want it, which is not in this area. We've got to get rid of it. How do we do that? Well, let's go and have a look at the pumps. Okay, let's have critical. So we've collected all the water. Now, an important bit, how do we get rid of it? Well, um, the pump is the heart, the heart of the system, heart of the, any system like this. So manage the water we are actually channeling into this pump, pump chamber. Um, this is obviously, we're halfway through the build here. Right. The pump chamber is set in the ground within the slab, and we've got a temporary pump in there at the moment. Okay. Um, the finished product, though, Martin, is similar to this without the cutout. But this is like a, 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 a model, so you can see exactly how it works. Yes, it is. A lot of stuff in there. Oh, it's a great, it's a great piece of kit. This is the Triple Safe, a, an American um, pumping system with two Zola pumps in that are, are, are fantastic, and we never have any problems with them. So we say triple safe. Does that is that what it means? As in, as in you've got three sort of fail safe yeah. units. You do. You have uh, two pumps. The green ones there on different levels. One is the slave pump, and then the other one kicks on if it's needed. And then you've got a battery backup pump. So if you do have power cuts or um, power goes out, the, the fuse trips, the battery backup pump kicks in and the alarm goes off. Right. Um, it's also the alarm up here. Um, also, if the uh, there's a problem with any of the pumps, that alarm comes off and alerts you to any problems. So, water is then pumped out, out from the basement into a drain or whatever on the, exactly. the top side, if you like. Exactly, and taken away. Right, well I can see it filling up, you can see that this is the channel you've put in here is actually, is actually working. And, it is. And this thing is, is filling up already. It is, yeah. But, but this bit then, um, uh, obviously quite, quite an expensive piece of kit, but, but something that is the heart and soul of the whole, the whole thing, and, and, and clearly you, you bought safety. There are more basic pumping stations on the market where you've got maybe one pump and just the back, battery backup system, or just the one pump. We have a super sump, for instance, but it's only got the one pump in. Now, obviously, in this particular case, it's going to be a cinema. Um, sometimes we do gyms below properties. You don't want to have any risk of coming down to find a, fa a failed pump. So the triple safe reduces or alleviates any risk of flooding. Are and noisy or not? No, they're just like, uh, I suppose, you know, the old fridges that used to kick on. Yeah. Uh, but, you, but they only come on for 10 minutes, 10 seconds or so. Right. And then go off again. Great. Should we just go somewhere with slightly dry? <laughs> <laughs> So it's all looking good. What next? Well, the next stage is uh, to finish the waterproofing, get it absolutely, uh, you know, to test it. And then we've got the electrician, the plumber, the joinery works, the, the chipboard floor, then the, the lovely oak floor going down. There's the uh, positive pressure air unit, which will control the temperature and the, the, the moisture levels really down here. We've got a couple of radiators. Uh, we've got the, uh, the pointing between the brickworks within the ceiling to do. And it will look beautiful once that's done. Um, then. Uh, you know, carpet on the steps, and I think that's it really. But you know, we've got some very sophisticated lighting systems going in, sound systems. I forgot to mention the uh, the big plasma screen on the wall. Got a bit of plasma. It's going to be the main feature down here. Um, it's a real media room. Oh, and I think the uh, there's talk of a sort of a, a ch child zone within the uh, the light well with the beautiful uh, handmade timber 
glass frame on top. Well, listen, I'm really excited to see it. It's, it's coming together. Mm. A few more weeks. Yeah. And I can't wait to see how it goes on. Yeah. Right. Great. Let's great. get the guys going on their work. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. <laughs>